Astrology Boutique with your energy forecast for Saturday, April 20th. So today we will see the moon in Virgo go void, of course, at 8.21 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We're locking into Libra energy at 11.10 p.m. So the transition out of Virgo energy into Libra energy is always a little bit more light and fluffy. We're moving out of an Earth sign that has us all wrapped up and consumed in our mind space because Mercury rules over that Virgo earthy energy and Libra energy, of course, is light and airy. We are looking to strive for peace and harmony and balance. We're more extroverted. We're looking out in social situations. And again, Venus, who rules over this Libra energy, just took her rulership by the sun moving into Taurus season. So there's definitely a lot of heart activations going on. We're dissecting our new thoughts, our new ideas, our new emotions, new wants, new needs, new desires. And that Libran energy is going to help us find a new compromise, a new balance point after we've done the intellectual and emotional processing that we do when the moon is in Virgo energy. So again, I'm going to take this opportunity to encourage you to listen to the Taurus season astro forecast that I put out there. I am going to recommend that you download the Taurus season e-guide as well to kind of help and assist and guide you through the energies that Taurus season are going to be throwing our way starting with a major event taking place here today between Jupiter and Uranus again there is a whole section in the Taurus season e-guide devoted to this major astrology event we are definitely going to be feeling this energy in the weeks to come so major major shifting taking place here today with that being said there are eight different aspects taking place here today, and six of them are going to involve the moon. So we're actually going to get the day started with the sun in this Taurus energy, fresh in this Taurus energy, slowing the pace down, making us more present, making us more focused, more concentrated on our physical realms. What needs to stay, what needs to go, what we can strengthen, what we can stabilize, what it is that we can build, create, and bring to life. The sun is making a semi-square, so a little bit of tension, a little bit of conflict, with Saturn, the Lord of Karma, ruling over roles and responsibilities, systems, structures, foundations, willpower, discipline, who, of course, is in this Pisces energy, a mutable water sign, really trying to go with the flow, but at the same time, very much concentrated on what it is that we have to release, what we have to close the door on, what we have to collapse, especially as far as old beliefs system goes, as old dreams go, old visions go, we are looking to tap into channel and funnel new creative force energy that is going to lead us into building a new realm, a new reality. Of course, the sun and Saturn coming together, there's going to be an inner struggle, there is a tension, there is a conflict, because of course, we're getting a major reality check. We are as present as we have been in our physical bodies for a very long time and it really doesn't feel that good. We are in this Taurus energy trying to stay present while Saturn, of course, in Pisces energy has us looking back what we've done, what we've built, what we've created that no longer supports and encourages who it is that we are and what it is that we want to do. We want to build something new. We need to build something new. And this little bit of a reality check, this harsh little realization on what it is that we have to do to clear the space out of the old in order to create the space to start building the new, just is adding a lot of pressure. It's adding to our to-do list. It is really putting the weight of the world on our shoulders and it really doesn't feel good because we're realizing where it is that we need a better routine, a better sense of discipline, if you will to do the hard things that happen to be the right things in order to start building this bridge to get us away from where it is that we're at and closer to where it is that we desire to be. The moon, while still in Virgo energy, going to make a very tough interaction with Chiron, the wounded healer in Aries energy. So, of course, this has everything to do with our ego identity, with this new version of self. And at this particular point in time, we're not feeling so good. We're not feeling so well equipped, well prepared to do what it is that we have to do. And so that moon in Virgo energy is breaking down, dissecting, if you will, the pain, the trauma, the wounds, the mental blocks 
blockages, the emotional blockages that are coming up and really showing us where it is that we're holding fear, doubt, insecurity, especially when it comes to what it is now that we want to build, what we want to create again, that earlier tension, that earlier pressure, really putting us in a situation where we're really not feeling up to the challenge as of yet. So the moon in Virgo is then going to try first Jupiter, then Uranus. Now, Jupiter and Uranus, they're the stars of the show here today. They're both in Taurus energy. They're about to have their major conjunction towards the end of the day here today. I think it's a very interesting dynamic that the moon is going to be trining both of these particular aspects before they come into aspect with each other. The moon in Virgo because it's an earth sign and Taurus energy is an earth sign. This is what gives us our trine. Our trine is harmonizing energy. It's a gentle nudge, a gentle push in the right direction. The moon in Virgo, again, we have to get focused on what it is that we want to build and create in order for us to actually manifest it and dissect the greater, grander picture, the greater, grander vision into smaller, more manageable pieces. So the moon interacting with Jupiter first is really turning the volume all the way up on our optimism, on our confidence, on our ability to dream a bigger dream, and again, break it down into small manageable pieces. This is definitely putting us in a better mood, better attitude to see the options and opportunities that we now have to build, to create something new, something more strong, something more encouraging, supportive for this new chapter of life, of growth, of evolvement. The moon trining Uranus, the great awakener, definitely going to open up our our mind space, open up our heart space, receive a whole hell of a lot of clarity, some aha moments, some epiphanies on what it is that we could do differently in order to create a different result. This is like once you know, you can't unknow. This is like once you're inspired, you have to kind of pursue the path that is going to lead you to the vision, to the goal, to the dream that you're now being downloaded with. So again, this is a trine. This is a beautiful energy, really encouraging us to see the greater grand picture and again feel in power and control over the smaller actions and details that we can start actually doing and pursuing in order to align with the vision the goal the dream that we're now being downloaded with we are going to take a little bit of a turn in energy we have the moon in this virgo energy sitting across from directly opposing mars mars is the god of war ruling over our physical energy our drive our passion our desire even in our anger he's in Pisces energy trying to get emotionally spiritually intuitively creatively in alignment with a new passion new goal new truth new mission new purpose this because it's an opposition again Virgo energy and Pisces energy sit across from each other in the zodiac wheel they both represent a certain aspect of healing. The Virgo energy focuses in on the physical body, the physical realm, the mental plane, while the Pisces energy focuses in on our energy, our emotions, our intuition, our spirituality. This particular opposition is definitely going to trigger the restlessness, the ants in our pants. We could get frustrated, agitated because we're running out of patience. We just want to take action. We want to make moves and also keep in the back of your mind that we are building towards this major event between Jupiter and Uranus, which is going to send a shock wave through our central nervous system. So this is kind of the point in time where we start feeling a little bit jittery, a little bit anxious, and we are definitely going to have to hone in our emotions, our mental plane to keep our energy in check. The moon is then going to make a positive interaction with the sun in Taurus energy. Again, some earth on earth action here the moon and the sun coming together always kind of reveals a new emotional insight, a new aha moment on what it is that we want to do, what we want to pursue, what it is that we want, we need, we desire, and therefore taking a good look at our options and opportunities to take action upon said realization. The moon is then going to directly oppose and set across from Neptune in his rulership in this Pisces energy. Again, Virgo and Pisces. Pisces energy sit across from each other in the zodiac wheel. This is at 8:20 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. This is the last aspect that the moon in Virgo is going to make before going void, of course. And this is going to blur the lines. This is going to bring up a lot of confusion. This is going to make us hypersensitive. This is going to put us in a situation where things become overwhelming. Why? Because we're 
really getting close to this major conjunction and the energy, the resonating energy is like throwing a pebble into a puddle and watching those rings expand. And so we're moving into, let's call it the aspect zone. And we're starting to get a little bit nervous, a little bit anxious, a little bit jittery. And we're hella confused right now. We don't know up from down, left from right, because our emotions are in a absolute whirlwind. We see the moon go void, of course, again at 8.21 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. While the moon is void, and again, reminder, when the moon is void, things are shaky, things are uncertain, things are unstable, mostly to put us in a vulnerable state so that we can see things from a different set of eyes. At 10.25 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Jupiter and Uranus are going to come together for their conjunction at 21 degrees in Taurus energy closing the door on a 14 year cycle and opening the door up to a brand new 14 year cycle. Again, I'm going to recommend that you download that Taurus season e guide that you flip to this particular astro event and you capture what is going on in your life right now. Over the next couple of weeks, it will become very clear, very much in our face, what we are building upon, what we are creating, what we are kind of pursuing. And again, in Taurus energy, this has a lot to do with the upgrades in our mood and our attitude towards ourselves, self-worth, self-value, self-love. It has a translation into our relationship dynamics, into our resources, into our money matters. We are definitely going to feel a major shift on the collective stage and in our individual lives. Definitely take point on that. And of course, at 11.10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, the moon will shift into Libra energy and we are definitely going to try to gain our balance, gain our bearings, really evaluate where it is that life is out of whack and where it is that we have to make extra effort into bringing those chaotic pieces of life into balance. 